Hey there, welcome back to Dangerous Workshop. So on the bench behind me, you see Ollie Oxy, the latest version of our prototypes. Ollie is almost complete. I just finished her air path and all that remains is to install her control system, wire up the processor and program it, switch her on and she'll be producing O2. So can't wait to see how she performs. In the meantime, stick around for a quick tour of Ollie. You are looking at Ollie Oxy. She is the latest version. And quite a few refinements have gone into this model. I'll sweep around so you can get a good look at her. Most notably, the frame is dramatically different. This is a T-style frame meant for simplicity. My hair has been adamant about building a what he calls a less sexy version of it. <laughs> Chose the name Ollie after Popeye's girlfriend who was tall, slender, not all that pretty, but yet all the boys wanted her. So, refinements. Quite a few on this one uh, beyond the frame itself. We'll start at the air input where we have moved to a Radiator. This is a PC radiator designed for water cool PC. So that will give us the air cooling we need right at the input. Then we exit the radiator into a regulator. The regulator is a particulate filter as well as a moisture filter with automatic purging. So it'll purge any moisture that gets into the system out here automatically. Then these lines run out to the two feed valves. The right and left sieves or sieve A and sieve B as we call them. Next refinement you'll notice is there's almost no tubing in between the valve and the sieve. We're working to minimize wasted air. Anything between the valve, anything between the valves is wasted, and uh, if it doesn't have zeolite in it, so we work to minimize that. Both sides you'll see the valve is directly underneath the sieve. This is the exit valve here, and then this is the fill. So air comes in, goes in and then purges back out. So very, very little waste here now. Should be much more air efficient. The other thing we did was we eliminated the air gap inside of the caps. I posted a video about that earlier. Um, there's a filter screen about right here and below that was open air. That's been filled with a compound and there's a small snorkel tube that goes up those. So there's a 1 8 inch gap between the bottom of the filter plate where the zeolite starts. So very little wasted air there. And on the top, we did something similar. We eliminated the top half of the unions, which were wasting a large amount of volume, and made these aluminum plates that seal right up next to the O-ring plate. And so we're using half of the union, essentially, and substituting our own plates. Also shortened all of the tubing in the halo. So the tubing between all of the check valves, the cross flow, everything has been shortened. The valve for the halo or precharge valve, as it's technically called, is also very close to where the action is. So again, there's very little wasted air. Then we come back out to our surge tank, which stores the air. And then we go out back into a regulator. Again, this regulator is a particulate filter as well as a moisture filter. And uh, so that will automatically eject any moisture here. And then we go out down through a flow indicator all the way down to the dual flow meters. Uh, these allow us to meter and see what the flow actually is. We haven't been able to get our hands on any above 10 yet, so we're having to gang two together so we can do 15, which is the target for this machine. Then we come out of that, and this would be our output air. So that's the complete air path. So the air path is 100% done. All that's left now is to wire in the valve controller. So I'll be doing that today and should wake her up later this afternoon.